Can my saggy eye area on one side be fixed? I'm 48. I take pretty good care of my skin. I've never had any plastic surgery or injections. I do get fairly regular microdermabrasion treatments, and once, five years ago, had skin tightening treatments. Lately, I've noticed that one side of my face appears to be sagging and looks much older than the other, particularly around the eye area. Is this a cause for concern? And is this correctable with any non-invasive treatments? Or is a lift my only option at this point? Thank you for your question. You're 48 years old and you've not had any aesthetic procedures and you've been doing microdermabrasion and you're noticing some sagging of one eye um, compared to the other or, and changes on one side of the face compared to the other. And you're asking, is a lift the only procedure? Well, I, I can tell you that uh, this concern is basically reflective of a typical process that everyone goes through as we get older in terms of changes that are genetic as well as changes that are related to our life's experience, exposures, environment. I wrote a book years ago that explained um, my philosophy. Uh, the, the book is titled The Fine Art of Looking Younger. And as a cosmetic oculofacial plastic surgeon practicing in New York City and in Long Island for over 20 years, I specialize in eyelid and facelifting surgery. And there is certainly a logic to our approach to how we deal with someone like yourself. So I'll share with you what, what I would say to you in our practice. So first we have to recognize what's going on. One is there is two parts of facial aging that goes on. One is volume loss. Volume loss is, has to do with loss of bone, muscle, and fat. And this is often referred to as deflation. In fact, in our, in our specialty at conferences, I've seen colleagues basically describe how when we're younger, we're, we're, we're like a grape, and as we get older, we become more like a raisin. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a very harsh look at aging, but it is really a, a very good illustration of the, the, the volume loss. So as we lose bone, muscle, and fat, soft tissue, there is the appearance of some sagging because the support structure has diminished. So there is a strategy without surgery to try to restore volume that's typically using various fillers and fillers in a way that can be strategically placed that can create the illusion of a lift and that means that the expansion or lifting away from the bones can be of value. Um, a lot of this is based on individual desire. Now the second part is redundancy, loss of elasticity and sagging. So as you described with your eyes, with the, with, whether it's the, upper skin, the skin or folds in the upper eyelids, or whether it's sagging of skin in the lower eyelids, this, this structure gets loose. On the face, there's a combination of laxity of the underlying structure called the SMAS, or superficial musculoaponeurotic system, and the skin. And that's where lifting has a role. In my practice, my role is not just as a surgeon, but really as a beauty doctor and to be the primary care doctor of, for beauty for my patients. So what we do is we first educate our patients with what, uh, first by understanding what their priorities are, from the highest priorities to the lowest priorities, kind of a wish list, and then look at strategies that are appropriate and practical and make a decision on whether or not there's an opportunity for volume correction, whether regenerative medicine, such as the use of platelet-rich plasma uh, derived from your own blood to stimulate collagen and blood supply, whether it involves um, external procedures such as radiofrequency, as you've experienced, or lasers, and other things like that, or whether more involved surgical procedures. So there's a lot of uh, an, uh, art to this and as a specialist with all, all these areas as part of what I do, 
it's easy for me to help my patients do, do these things um, as we all get older together. So I think you need to meet with qualified, experienced cosmetic surgeons to understand what your options are. I, I do stress the word surgeons because my bias of being a surgeon and being able to do all the things that non-surgeons do as well as surgery, um, contrary to popular um, myth, we are not all knife happy. We just want to help our patients solve problems, at least that's my style. And so non-surgeons tend to want to just add a lot of fillers and and uh, quote protect their patients from surgeons but there's a role for surgery it's a reason why we dress this way and uh, and help patients every day with surgical solutions so it's about customizing and so one of the things that I say is that in the modern world as we enter our 40s and 50s and beyond you ca in addition to your health doctor those who want to remain looking good need a beauty doctor and from my practice that is not only doing surgery but non-surgical options. That's why we have a Medispa and we have skin care products and helping people with solutions that are uh, comprehensive. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck and thank you for your question.